Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Bulkhead. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my friend Alex, who found Bulkhead for me at his local Target and shipped him my way. So Alex, thank you so much. So real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, this is the brand new legacy style packaging. Transformers there on the side, Transformers legacy here. We've got some great artwork of Bulkhead in his vehicle mode, front and center, and Bulkhead himself right there in that open window. There's no more plastic. You can reach right in and mess with your figure. Top of the box, Transformers legacy. This side of the box, you got some great artwork of Bulkhead in robot mode. You got the full robot mode there and an up close shot of his face. Back of the packaging, robot mode, transforms in 30 steps to vehicle mode. And there is a QR code. I'll have to check that out and see what that does. This side of the box, we've got more of that legacy artwork featuring Optimus Prime, Hot Rod, RC, Blaster, and Bulkhead. Now, before I break out Bulkhead out of his packaging here, real quick disclaimer, I remember Transformers Animated. I love Transformers Prime, but I never collected any of the toys, so I really have no connection to the original Bulkhead figure. So to me, this is going to be a brand new experience with Bulkhead. So I have no nostalgia whatsoever to this figure. So... That being said, let's get Bulkhead opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I did scan the QR code on the back of the package and what it did was open up his tech specs. So you can see Bulkhead, Autobot, Alt Mode, Army Van. His Alt Mode is not an Army Van. Function, Heavy Munitions, Special Unit, Team Prime, Origin Universe Prime. Then it shows his signature weapon is the Energon Gatlin Blaster, rapidly fires rounds of Energon Blast. His bio, Bulkhead, may be a gentle giant most of the time, but this wrecker is always ready to kick some tailpipe. Then it has his skills, strength, intelligence, speed, and firepower. They made him kind of a dummy, didn't they? So anyway, once you get Bulkhead all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and fairly easy to follow. There was one spot that gave me grief with these instructions. Bulkhead also comes with his shield slash truck cover his wrecking ball mace weapon, his little teeny tiny Gatling gun weapon. That thing needs to be so much bigger. And then of course we've got Bulkhead himself. Now taking a closer look at the figure, I think this guy looks amazing. Right off the bat, you can tell this is Bulkhead, especially with that head sculpt, with that very prominent jaw. He's got that animated slash prime look but still retains that kind of realistic, dare I say it, G1 look. I know I'm going to tick some people off with that one. But I, I like the looks of this guy. He's really, really cool. 
the blocky aesthetic just works for me. Of course, I am a G1er and I dig it. I love the color scheme on the guy too. Very military green, minimal paint applications. You got the silver for the face, blue eyes, a little bit of silver right there on the crest, silver up here on the shoulders for the biceps and hands, silver down there on the thighs and knees. And of course you got the black for the tires. Black here on the bumper with blue headlights and a red in Autobot logo right there below the windows. I do like the sculpted details on this guy too. You can really see it in vehicle mode, but check out the windshield wipers. That is awesome. He does have a translucent chest due to the fact the chest is the front of the truck mode, but honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, Look at him that way, you can tell he's hollow, but this is dark enough where you can't see all that hollowness through the chest. So, fairly cool. I mean, not a lot of gaps other than the chest. Just don't go under him and look up. Articulation, head is, yes, it is on a ball joint. Can do a complete 360, look up and down slightly. Arms can do 360 as well. They can go out, they can go in. Bicep bend and bicep rotation, very tight joints, and there is a wrist rotation. There's also waist rotation, well, more or less crotch rotation, <laughs> if that's a thing. Legs go forward, legs go back, there's a knee bend, legs go out, legs go in. There is a rotation right there at the hip, and ankle tilt, so this big bulky bot has lots of moves. Now let's take a look at his weaponry. And the first thing we'll pull out is the shield slash truck canopy. Now there's a couple different ways you can use this. He's got a little peg right there that I guess you could peg into the side of his arm like so. This is one way you can do it, but it doesn't really work. That peg is mainly used for the storage on the back what you want to do is take this longer peg here, and now you can utilize, if I can get it back on there, it pegging onto his arm like so, kind of like a riot shield. That's what it looks like with the open window right there. The first peg, where I screwed up and showed you first, this is for storage on his back. You peg that in, and there's this little black section that fills up the empty rectangle right there. He just kind of fold the canopy around his back. So you got storage that way. Another option comes into play when you bring in the wrecking ball. And I love how this works. You actually split this open and then you fit it on his right hand with the peg up top. So once you put the peg in, that folds over the fist. And I love, I love how that covers the fist up, it looks so cool. Like his hand transformed into that wrecking ball. And with the wrecking ball attached, you use that peg right there. You can peg the shield on and now he can hold it in front of him. I do like how that works. Now with this wrecking ball, if you want to put it on his left hand, if I can get that open. And it's in there tight. Okay, now if you want to put it in his left hand, you need to put the peg underneath the fist. If you look, it is molded according to the fist. If you try to put it on like the other fist, it doesn't fit right, see? You have to put the peg through the bottom of the hand, then it's gonna fit perfect. Then you can actually peg the shield into his left hand and then bring in his Gatlin blaster here, which, like I said, I think is way too small, and I hate that we're coming back to the translucent weapons. And there's something that's gonna be going on with these other figures because it's got a hole right through the center. So you can take the Gatlin pistol, put that in his hand, and there you have Bulkhead all armed and ready for battle. Now another option for this little Gatlin cannon if you look right there, there's some holes. There's little pegs on the side. You can peg this in. So 
So now he has a shoulder mounted Gatling cannon, but is it, it is going to aim up and it really doesn't peg in tight. So I'm not a big fan of that. I'd much rather just put it in his hand. So there we go. He is ready to kick some Decepticon tailpipe. So now let's get Bulkhead transformed into vehicle mode. Now the first thing you want to do is remove all of the accessories. Now the instructions say you can leave the shield cover on, but trust me, don't. It'll make things a lot easier. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and move Bulkhead's arms forward and then unpeg these little black sections here away from the chest. So get those up and out of the way. Then you're going to take this whole chest section, bring this up, and then it's actually going to separate all the way. And then you're going to take Bulkhead's head, bring it down. It's going to snap into place right there. And there's this black section here. You're going to bring that up. That's going to fill in the section where Bulkhead's head was. Now that this is all out of the way, you're going to bring the arms forward. They're on these little hinges back here. So you're going to bring these hinges around. And what you want to do, if you look right there, there are these tabs. You want to get these together. Sometimes it can take a while to get them lined up just right. Once you get them snapped in, go ahead and bend Bulkhead's arms at the elbow all the way. But that cab keeps falling in the way. Go ahead and bring those arms up. And then that cab will just kind of snap into place. And there you have the front of the vehicle finished. Now you're going to take this section here, push it down, and then flare these wheels out. And go ahead and get the cover. That's where the shield is going to go. Let's get that out of the way. Now this here was the part that confused me in the instructions. You're going to take this black section, untap it. And now there is a section right here. Let me see if I can find it. Because you want to bring this up like so. And then right here where this black section is, you're going to pull this out. It's not going to do it for me. Like I said, this is tricky. There we go. This section right here pops off and I could not figure that out in the instructions for nothing drove me nuts why I couldn't get him to transform now that you've got him this way you're gonna go ahead and bring the legs in kind of like at a kneeling position and you're gonna bring all of this up go ahead and get this pushed down all the way make sure those wheels stay flared out and there's two tabs right there that are going to line up right there in the back of the cab. So you go ahead and get those pushed in. And now you got bulkhead looking like this. Go ahead and flip these panels up on the back of the legs. Now you're going to swing out the fuel tanks. They're on a ball joint. Just kind of rotate those around. And of course, when you transform, he just comes right apart. Doesn't stay really tabbed together good until you actually get him finished. So go ahead and squeeze the legs together. Bring the gas tanks down. And now you just kind of push everything in. And it'll kind of lock into place. Go ahead and bring the tabs or the gas tanks down. They're actually going to tab right there. It's one of those things that's easier said than done. So there's one. Also, there's another tab right there. It's going to tab into Bulkhead's thigh. So get everything tabbed in. Now, once everything's tabbed in, you're going to go back here and close Bulkhead's feet and then bring the feet up. They will actually form a tailgate. Now, you're going to take his weapons, take the Gatlin cannon. It's actually going to peg right here in the center, like so. Actually, turn it this way so the handle's facing toward the feet. Then you're going to take the wrecking ball weapon and make sure and turn this to where 
The flat section is against the Gatlin cannon. Peg that in. So you've got that look going on. Go ahead and take the shield. Move this section right here to where you can put the, attach the shield via the peg, just like how it connected on his back. And then you're gonna bring the cover down. And there's some tabs right there. Go ahead and get the cover tabbed in place. And once you have everything in place, there you have Bulkhead in vehicle mode. And I love the looks of this military vehicle. This is actually based on a Raba H18 Hungarian military truck. And this thing is awesome. It just looks so good. And check out all the sculpted details. I was talking about that earlier, but man, they really pop in vehicle mode. You got the gas tanks there, the details on the cab with the doors, the vents, even the wheels look really good. I think they're just clip-ons again, but they do have lots of nice details, even there on the tires. You can tell right there that that could actually be wood. And then you have the canopy here or the shield, the, the cover. And I love the sculpted details on that. It actually looks like fabric. They did such a good job on this and the feet. You know, you had the ratchet and iron hide that always had their feet hanging off the back of the vehicle. Hasbro made it work for bulkhead. This is actually, you know, the gates or the tailgate. So he can go and put things in it if you want. If you actually take the weapons out that he comes with, there is room in the back for other accessories, maybe even micro masters. But yeah, this vehicle mode looks awesome. And if you want, you can take the Gatlin gun and it will attach up on top for a little extra firepower. Yes, vehicle mode, it rolls really, really good. Now, another thing to take note of in Bulkhead's vehicle mode is he has Minicon ports. There's one on each side. So I happen to have a Minicon right here. Let's see if these work, get that matched up. And yes, you can plug a Minicon on to bulkhead. So with this being the legacy line, you know, we've had our battle masters and micro masters. I wonder if we're going to get the return of mini cons. Now I know you die hard bulkhead fans may not appreciate this vehicle mode, but trust me in hand, it's awesome. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers legacy bulkhead with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, War for Cybertron Siege Hound, and War for Cybertron Kingdom Warpath. In my opinion, the Transformers Legacy series kicked things off with a bang. I think Bulkhead here is a great figure. My only real complaint with the guy is he's a heavy munitions expert and they give him that little tiny Gatling gun. I mean, come on, this guy should have some massive, huge piece of firepower, something about that big. I mean, that would look awesome in the hands of Bulkhead. I mean, if you're going to talk about being a heavy weapons expert and you don't have heavy weapons, come on, man. That is the size that Gatling gun should have been. So there you go, guys. Transformers Legacy Bulkhead. So, does a Transformers Legacy Bulkhead belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. He's got a cool robot mode, very cool realistic military truck mode, and I just think he's tons of fun. As I said earlier, I'm not connected to the original Bulkhead toy at all, so to me, this was a brand new character. Now, for those of you who do have that connection to the animated or Transformers Prime Bulkhead, Give this guy a shot. I've seen lots of people complaining about him on Facebook and Instagram, but pick him up. I think you'll be really surprised with what you get. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I got to give a huge shout out to my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime.
signing out.